How can we make fossil fuels less fossily? Find out. Welcome to another edition of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by all of us at Solar Wolf Energy. So, what are we talking about today? I can't believe I read this and I had to read this twice to make sure this was true, but apparently Exxon Mobil is going to start using solar and wind for their facilities. Um, that seems kind of kind of silly, right? So the refineries, drilling, all this stuff, they're going to use solar power to, to power the derricks, um, they're going to use solar power at the refineries. I think this shit is hilarious. I'm, I'm sure you guys see the irony in this. It is quite funny. I think we ought to make it one step further. I think going forward, all 50 states should pick up this idea and run like hell with it. Any new gas stations being built, if you're going to build a new one, whether no matter who it is, Wawa or Mobile, whoever it is, doesn't matter. Whoever it is, they must. When they put the roof over the gas pumps, I know traditionally it's not a very, very structural roof for the most part. If you look at these things with a drone or helicopter view, they're usually hollow on the upside. Um, they're more of an aesthetic appeal and keep the rain whatever out for us. They have center drains in them, um, and they have they and they also house the uh, the, the chem system for the sprinkles. But I think what we ought to do going forward is make them structural so that they can hold solar panels. If you could fill the gas pumps, if you have about 12 pumps and you put a roof over it, you fill that with panels and then you can also take the, uh, the, the, the housing facility, whatever, the building, that the, you know, the, the drinks, everything else, when you go get gas, if you could fill those, that roof up as well with some, some panels, I think a combination of the two, it would certainly help, right? Um, and maybe you take that and your focus isn't the refrigerators or whatnot, whatever, maybe to make it less fossily, as we say here. Um, maybe we make it for the pumps that drive, the motors that drive the pumps, the electrical that drives the pumps to pump the diesel and gas, right? That kind of makes some sense, right? It, we're we're going to make it more or less fossily, right? So just an idea. I, I think we obviously, we, can we take that idea, we adapt it, and we rewrite it and all that. I'm just, this is just loose, uh, loose ideas. I'm just spitting off the dome here, but I, I think it's an idea. Uh, I think it's a start, which is the important part. And from there, we make it kind of a mandated rule. Like California is now making in 2020, any new houses being built must have solar on them. I think new gas stations must have solar panels on them. Pretty, uh, I think it's a pretty novel idea. However, we start to execute it. You guys leave a comment below, whatever. But the idea is there. How can we improve upon it? And how can we make it happen? Thanks for watching another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.